Well, I think although the challenges will be new challenges in the sense that there'll be challenges that are playing out in a different place, the challenges that we'll need to confront are the same old challenges that we actually already are confronting here on planet Earth. So to give you an example, um, there'll be the issue of how do we determine who gets access to new parts of space that are open for exploration? How are we going to understand claims to ownership when if we discover that there are things in space that are of significant value? Are we going to have treaties? And if we are going to have treaties, um, are they going to include sharing clauses that ensure that whatever benefits arise from space exploration are widely shared through uh, the, the world at large? Or are they going to be sort of on a first come first serve so whoever gets to explore and exploit gets to claim full ownership in those sorts of resources? So those are questions that are familiar even from our world and we've confronted them before. So if you think about issues like how we are going to divide up the mineral wealth that may be sitting in seabeds that are not part of the territorial waters of any country. And here again, there's the question of, is it simply whoever can access them that will get a claim to them? Or should they be um, exploited only on terms that can be shown to be the benefit of mankind in general? And if you actually look at negotiations and discussion of things like the law of treaty, you see these very rival perspectives on just how we should think about the exploration of new resources like this. But there's another question, which is sort of a question about conservation and whether or not we should conceive of ourselves as having any right to exploit resources that we find in space at all. Um, again, that's the type of issue that comes up even now with our own planet when it comes to things like deep sea, seabed resources. Are these resources that we should sort of feel morally free to exploit, regardless of what terms we're trying to exploit them? Or do we think that they have a certain status that should be preserved and should be sort of kept free from certain kinds of human use.